Kind of like a bluesy shuffle. Mm-hmm. It's a kind of a blues, a kind of a. Goes through a bunch of bluesy sounding progressions and chords, but it's constantly moving. Uh, really interesting. The dog gun full turns sour on me. What a great line. <laughs> French toast and powdered sugar. It's got sugar in it. People always like sugar. Yeah, this has got all the elements. The battle of the sexes. It's just been going on, and it's, it's, this is that's the era where I think people really started getting vociferous about it. I got those sweet, sweet sugar blues. This is one of those songs most of us who are older jazz fans have only heard as a kind of corny trumpet feature. I think it was uh, Clyde McCoy. This is Clyde McCoy uh, had the head of this. It was a guy, Clyde McCoy, and he made that with a mute. And wah, 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 wah. A wah, 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 wah kind of trumpet. Wah, 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 wah. I'm just glad to hear all those words. So many jazz songs have terrific words, but you never hear them. You just hear them as instrumentals. And uh, that's a shame, that's a shame. So it's really nice. I seldom have heard the words to this song before this recording. And the interesting thing happened is that I think the original was a little bit, when it got to the uh, chorus, was a little bit out of Roberta's range. And so she had the great idea of modulating at that point. It was too high for me, so I said to Sam, I said, you know, I want to lower this intro. And then it modulates. That's interesting. It's got that modulation in the in the verse part. But I don't think you can tell when you hear it. It doesn't, it just sounds like it was supposed to go that way. It just sort of snakes and then you end up over here. And, but it, I've heard it, maybe it's because I've heard it so many times now, but it just sounds natural. So I'm actually very proud of that arrangement now because um, it makes it easier for other singers to sing this song. It's a good tune, and it's got that uh, good horn back up. And... Where the song almost seems like it starts to run out of steam, the horns start playing this sort of rift underneath the vocals in the original. And so I kept that in there because I thought it was really uh, an effective thing. It, it doesn't sound as strident. I was playing really loud, but they mixed it in really well, so it sounds great. Early, one of the first earlier African-American songwriters, very popular, very successful. He regretted the fact that he helped enable that whole thing of coon music of the time, of like all the bad stereotypes of black people. And it was that thing between making money and, as we say, lifting up the race. Difficult, difficult choices. They're very, very, I'm not gonna say I agree, but I do understand how difficult the choices were. Some other people did not go that way. I, they might not have been as successful as he was either. Sweet sugar blues, sweet sugar blues. Well, the blues don't have to be sad all the time. You know, sugar can have a negative effect if it's too much, but you get lost in it, and it, it feels so good. It's a different, completely different arrangement than probably anybody's doing. This is another good, I think, one of the better ones, too, on the, on the album. 